Hello, my name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today we're going to open and unbox my new Clever Fox Planner. So for clarity and legal reasons, I want to tell you that I did receive this product for free, um, but I do not receive payment in any shape or form for making this video or any other video for that matter. My authenticity is always very important to me uh, and I want to make sure that you all know that all opinions in this video, as well as any other video, are my own. Now, last but not least, I want to tell you that I, um, I do receive collaboration offers from companies more often, but I always look at whether I think it will be beneficial for both parties. And because I'm trying to be a little bit better for the environment, I really, really try to only uh, get products that I know I will use because Sure, free products are fun, but I'm not going to accept something just because it's free if I know that I will end up never using it. So with this planner, I definitely um, inv I, like, I investigated the website, I investigated the company, I asked a ton of questions to the person who reached out to me, and then I decided on this weekly planner, which I'm going to show you. To uh, make a confession, I keep forgetting the name of this company, um, but we are just going to open it. By the way, I was a little bit confused. This is new to me, like it also has happened with the Arteza art supplies I received. This is from Amazon, right? So every time I receive a package that looks like this, I'm confused because it doesn't say anything like where it's from, but I, so I quickly opened it already, but as you can see, I did not actually open the product I received. So it is a Clever Fox planner, A5 sized, uh, new. <laughs> okay. So I get asked a ton of questions about my bullet journal because when I started this channel I also did a few uh, like plan with me bullet journal kind of videos and I stopped doing them uh, well first of all because they were never really popular like the people who watch my videos they're more interested in pen pal mail than the planner videos but it, I also stopped making them because if I'm very very honest my bullet journal doesn't get a whole lot of views these days I don't have it now if you're interested I can show you a flip through of what it looks like now but um, it's downstairs <laughs> so I cannot show you right now but um, well to be honest the bullet journal I used, it's quite big, it's also A5 sized, so I will have to see if I'm gonna get more use out of this. But it's A5 size. I have so much space for lists and notes, and to be honest, I don't make a whole lot of lists, and I don't take a whole lot of notes anymore. So, if I'm being completely honest, uh, my bullet journal, or actually my traveler's notebook is kind of boring, kind of empty these days, because all I use it for is to write down my appointments and to um, keep track of my work hours. And then there are a few lists in my bullet journal that I do still use, such as my packing list. I need a packing list, otherwise I'm going to forget something, and my boyfriend also uses that a ton. So that is why when I was uh, contacted by someone from the Clever Fox, I was interested because this is a pre-printed planner and I think that might be easier for me to use than something I have to be creative with myself because that's a huge part of why I didn't use my bullet journal anymore. I quite honestly don't feel like making it pretty, like I get intimidated by the empty pages and that's just a bit too much for me. So pre-printed planner this was shipped to me so quickly um what i love about it first first impression i love that it comes in this little box i'm definitely keeping that to put something else in and this is going to be my very first impression Ooh! oh yes oh great it is okay so i got a little bit a little bit scared at first because the label said rose so I was a little, little bit afraid that it would be a rose gold one because I did doubt about getting that one but then I decided to go for this pink, peachy pink one and it is a peachy pink one. So then it says thank you for your product, for your purchase. I didn't purchase this, I got this for free but okay, you're welcome. <laughs> and then we've got some stickers, we've got some icon stickers, meh, don't know if I'm gonna use these, I don't know what this is, looks like. I don't know. It looks like increasing stats. Maybe I could use that for like YouTube statistics to show that my YouTube channel has grown or something. Then we've got this one. I have no clue what this is. It looks like a little family. We've got a party icon. 
we've got a gift icon, we've got a sporting person icon, we've got, I don't know, it looks like a cholesterol icon, we've got this, which is like, I could use that for celery, but it looks a lot like stock. Is this a stock to indicate a stock? Like, what am I gonna do with that? We've got a heart, we've got a reading person, and we've got a meditating person. So, mm, there's three of the same sticker sheets. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a lot of use out of that, but you know, this, this one, the meditating person and the reading person, perfect for self-care. So, I will see what I'm gonna do with that. And we've got little instructions saying how to use this planner. Mm, I will look at that a little bit later because first of all, I just wanna see the actual planner. Ooh, oh, it's quite fat even. I. I thought it would be a little bit smaller, but uh, I'm not. That is not a complaint. That's just, you know, something I notice. So this is obviously not going to be a review just yet because I haven't used it yet. What I'm planning on doing is I want to use it for a little bit, a few weeks, maybe a month, maybe longer, and then I'm going to do a review because I cannot do a review, review, review if I haven't tried it yet. So second impression looks really really good i love the feel of the cover feels like a little bit of like fur leathery oh and it has a pencil how do you call this a pen loop that is good that is really nice i've been meaning to make one for my bullet journal i just never got around to it and then i like that this has that already so I think I will name the product I picked. I will link it down below, but I'm pretty sure this was like the peach pink color. And I was doubting at first because I'm usually more of a blue greenish kind of girl, but I'm so happy I got this. It's really cute and girly and I, it, this makes me really happy. Just seeing it makes me really happy. I don't know about this huge Clever Fox icon on the front, hmm, but <laughs> that's all good. The only thing I'm going to miss is I currently have like a travel journal cover that has my like gaming nickname in the corner. It says Dilla, which is my gaming nickname, don't ask me why. Um, I'm going to miss that, but other than that, this is really a great first impression. Okay, and it says, by using Clever Fox Planner, you can stay focused on your goals, develop good habits, feel happier, increase your productivity, live a more fulfilling life. And then all of that info that I will probably flip through. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so things I like just by the cover is the way it feels, the way it looks, the fact that it has quite a nice elastic strap, and the fact that it has a pen loop. Um, but the things I dislike i don't know yet maybe it is a little bit fat for me because i just said that i do not use my planner that often i don't know if i'm going to be having a lot of use for all of these pages but i'm just going to see what is inside and then you know in the review i will tell you if i do actually use it or not okay so first okay we've got a little cover page <laughs> this is kind of funny um you can this is like a lost and found kind of information. And then the reward the person gets for bringing the, um, the, clever, the planner back to me. And then it has, mm. Ooh, oh wait, okay, we've got some page flags here. Mm. Okay, first, first thing, first impression is that I don't like the colors, you know, I'm a very, uh, I just said that I love the color of this planner, but these colors kind of clash. Like, if I have to nitpick, I'm gonna nitpick. I'm gonna say that, but I might actually be able to take these out and replace them with new ones. That's definitely not. If that's the only problem I have with this journal, then I'm definitely not complaining. Okay, then we've got first page is a gratitude and self awareness kind of log, daily rituals. Oh, so this is kind of cool. Skills to learn and habits to adopt this year. That's really good. Because a little while ago, actually in 2017, my boyfriend got me this little booklet called Goodbye 2017, Hello 2018, kind of. And it helped me keep track of everything I had learned in the past year. I think this will help me do that. So I actually do quite like that. And then we've got a vision board. No idea what I'm gonna do with that. Might use it for quotes or something or cute washi tape i don't know my goals oh okay so this is kind of what i just said top goals oof the only thing is i get a little bit anxious when i see this 
like I don't want to put too much pressure on myself but obviously I can make this as hard or as easy as I like spiritual hmm business career uh oh I'm gonna cross out the career the business career because I'm not focusing on career I'm focusing on being happy <laughs> maybe I will replace this with YouTube <laughs> goals for YouTube my focus my mind map and then the month Mm. What? Okay, so it looks like all of the... How many months are in this? Holy shit. How many months is this? Let me count. I'm kind of sad that it doesn't have like an index page. That would help. Maybe I will make my own. Um, and it also doesn't have page numbers. Not that I usually use page numbers, but because this is such a big planner, I think it might be handy. It's actually just 12. I thought it would be more. I thought it was more. <laughs> um, so, okay, it's just 12. That's kind of okay. Okay, I'm just doing like a quick flip through. Okay, so it looks actually like the setup of this journal is kind of the same as my current travel journal. Because in my travel journal, I have three different notebooks. I have one notebook that has my all of the monthly overviews, like the calendar view. Then I have one notebook that has the weekly overview, the weekly overview. And then I have one notebook that has the bullet journal pages. That's kind of cool. So actually this is kind of the same as my current travel journal in the fact that it has everything all of the different sections kind of like together so usually when you have a normal normal agenda you would have the month and then you would have the weeks and then you would have a month again and then you would have the weeks but now you have all of the months in a row and then all of the weeks together kind of i don't know yet if i will like that but i also don't think it should be a bad thing because it's exactly what I'm used to now and it might actually be kind of nice to have all of my months sort of together so that I can flip through and see any big events so okay let me just go back to the first page um, so what I like about this is that obviously it's undated so I can switch between my bullet journal and this planner uh, whenever I want because I can just fill in the dates myself. And then I also like that it has a little bit of a planning section, some goals, wins, and how I will improve next month. I have to admit that so far this journal focuses, or this planner I should say, focuses a lot on personal growth which for me might not be the healthiest thing because I'm just trying to focus on being happy instead of always trying to improve and always trying to do better. But then again, I could of course also use this planner for that if I make the wins and the improvement points about my personal happiness. But for now, it just feels like I I'm going to have to get anxious about wins and improvement points but like i said i think i will have to make this about personal growth and happiness and not about career stuff and then we've got habits to adopt skills to learn things to avoid places to go and people to see don't know if i'll get much use out of that but it is kind of fun oh i just realized something that is like annoying to me their week starts on a sunday which i don't really get because in which world do weeks start on a Sunday? Weeks should start on a Monday. So that is annoying, but mm -hmm. I can just cross this out. No, I have a better idea because what I have is I have all of these cute like days of the week stickers. Yeah, I just had an idea. I had, I had to pick it up because there used to be a time in my life where I would love to go on Etsy and order a ton of planner stickers from, let's see, Planning Sanctuary, Stationery Heaven, Sugar Loop. I've got a ton of these and I know that in here somewhere, I'm pretty sure, there should also be, yes, look, we've got Days of the Week stickers. How cute are these from Sugar Loop? I know I have a ton more. I also have this one, this one, there we go, Monday. That's just from Action, I think. I know I have a ton more here. Monday, that's from AliExpress, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I know I have more, I just have to find them. 
I don't know where they are. How adorable are these? Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing with that. I'm just going to use these cute little stickers or maybe washi tape or something else to cover that up. And I'm going to start my week on a Monday because I will finally have a good reason to use those cute stickers and I will also have a good reason to uh, buy and order some new ones. Nobody tell my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover up the Monday and then, you know, the week will start on a Monday. So we've got 12 months, obviously it's for one year. And then there we go. What? Wait a minute. Okay, so here's something that doesn't make sense. Here's something that does not make sense. This week starts on a Sunday, but the weekly overview starts on a Monday. What is that about? It's good because I don't have to cover these up with stickers, but it does not make sense. <laughs> so, uh, for me, it's not going to be a problem because I'm just going to use my cute stickers and then everything will start on a Monday, but it is kind of annoying. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So, <clears throat> this is the weekly overview. We've got obviously the days of the week, and then the weekend has like a little bit less space. And then we've got main goal for the week, and then a reward if achieved. That is good for me, because I work with rewards all the time. I'm like a little kid. I don't have like one of those sheets with stars on it if I achieved something, but I reward myself with stickers, candles, bath bombs, food and stationery obviously so this is cute i'm gonna definitely gonna use that we have this week's priorities hmm. we have notes we have a personal to-do list habits and skills we have this week's wins and how i will improve next week again this is not a complaint but this is just something that i'm thinking about right now i don't know if this is going to be good for me or if i'm going to use this at all or if it will make me anxious because i like for a large part of my life i was so focused on like growth and studying and career and stuff like that and it just it's not me anymore but like i also said with the monthly thing i'm going to use this for self-care and personal growth instead so the wins will be about things i would usually tell in therapy probably and how i will improve next week i think that is going to be the part where i will write my to-do list for next week so i don't want to focus on um i don't want to focus on like goal goals for next week but just the to-do i can do that so i definitely want to make the goals and stuff about self-care. I've said that a dozen times now. Um, so my first thought about this is that again, just like with my bullet journal, this planner has a lot of space for lists and notes and stuff like that, and even habits. But the big difference between my bullet journal and this one is that it's pre-printed. It's pre-printed so I can change it if I like. And I also need a little bit of, like the notes section will be for my in and out going meal, <laughs> for sure. So I, hmm, hmm, I, did, I don't know what, I, I wasn't really expecting anything yet. Oh, these pages are like stuck together. What's up with that? Seems to be a little bit of a cutting, uh, cutting problem. Oh, ooh, it even has a little, a large pocket actually just realized it has a large pocket for holding all of my planner stickers okay maybe in focus go back to the weekly overview what was i saying completely lost now okay so again we've got a lot of um space for lists but i think it might actually be good for me because it's pre-printed and my main concern my main issue with my current planner with my my bullet journal is that this page in my planner is completely empty so there's so much space i feel like i have to fill up i have to make it look cute i have to make it look good and i just don't like it, it gives me anxiety just thinking about how i'm going to fill that page and now it's pre-printed so i don't have to do a whole lot of decorating which i think will be good so yeah and also what i like now that i'm kind of like talking about it is how 
Like I've been doing this a couple of times, but the planner stays open quite well, which is nice. That's also one of the things that annoys me most with my current planner every time, because I have three different journals in one cover. Every time I try to write something, it closes. This one stays open. See, that's quite nice. That's definitely a plus. And then I'm going to use these for indicating which week we're in. I do like the blue one. The blue one is cute. I'm gonna put the blue one on the month. So this will be June. I don't know, should I start in July? Maybe I should. This one, the green one can go here. And then the red one can go, I don't know. So I think this is all weekly overviews are obviously going to be 52. And then there's a good chunk of the journal left this March left for note taking so there's like all of this space for bullet journaling and that is something i do not really use i'm going to make my packing list very important my packing list and then i don't know because i have all of these notebooks that i currently use for list making maybe i should just like put the other journal aside and use this for list making because i now have a lot of space so Thoughts about this journal. I've already told you everything I, I feel about this. Things I definitely like are the pocket in the back. Great big plus. The pen loop, the outside. The way the paper feels is also kind of nice. I don't like, when I, when I was looking into buying a travel journal, I looked at so many websites and so many reviews and all of these people talking about bleeding the pages I mean not yourself like pens bleeding through the pages ghosting ink how the paper felt and I found out that I don't care if a pen if you can see what I've written here on the other side a little bit as well so for me the main thing that is going to be important is do I use it a lot? The paper does feel quite nice. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always like that. Will I use it a lot or will it have a lot of empty space that I do not use? Um, is it going to stay nice? Like currently it still looks very pretty, but is this going to stay pretty? And yeah, in general, just how do I feel when using it? Does it make me an anxious or not? But for now, I think my main criteria is going to be, am I going to feel all of these pages or not? Because if not, then hmm, I might go back to my bullet journal. Okay, but I did get this one. So maybe I'm going to fill this one up first. Like I'm not the type of person to just waste an entire planner. I'm going to see how I can put this to good use. I did already fill out my week in my uh, current uh, agenda so I might start using it next week although I'm also feeling like I should start using it next month so I can start at the beginning of the month hmm I don't know yet how do you guys feel about that like would you start how do you feel about starting in the middle of a week how do you feel about starting in the middle of a month I'm going to see if I can um, make a decision on that and then i will uh, get back to you so i will be reviewing this planner in at least a month from now but i do want to ask you guys any questions you have is there something you'd like to know uh is there something i haven't addressed and that i should address in the review i'm going to do have you had any experiences with this planner and in general what else would you like to know I'm definitely, this definitely makes me happy. Um, but okay, thank you again to the Clever Fox for sending me this planner. Um, and let me know if you enjoyed this type of video as well. Um, if you think I should do more planner videos, although I don't know what I'm gonna do because everything is pre-printed, <laughs> let me know in the comment down below. Maybe we can make the lists in the back of the journal together. Hmm. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye bye.